Hine is such a little cutie, isn't he? Here to watch his dad, Gary. Well, Benito made his mark on the tour last year, but that was mainly away from the TV cameras, and now he starts 2017 with a very big task against Ty's dad, Stuart. And Alan will guide us through this one. Yeah, thanks, Jackie. I'm not sure which Gary Anderson is going to turn up. That's the words of Gary Anderson. Uh, catching up with him earlier this morning over a cup of coffee. He's hardly thrown a dart in anger since that terrific World Championship final against Michael Van Gerwen. So uh, we'll see what Gary produces over the next 40, 45 minutes or so. And those two World Championship crowns came mighty close to making it three on the spin against one of the standout players, you have to say, of 2016, Benito van der Pas, who is rapidly making a big name for himself at the top end of World Darts. Yeah, yeah certainly yeah. another so quality encounter. Former Game World on. and double world champion and world number two, Gary Anderson. Well, he'll certainly be wanting to, looking to improve his Masters results against one of the top youth stars who has now established himself in the big time and top 16. He'll certainly be looking to progress his ranking and big stage experience. Now he's got himself in that top 16, Stuart. You get more expectation from everybody. But I'm lucky to be at all the floor events, and his floor standard is as good as anybody's. Even Michael Van Gogh is exceptional on the floor. He's starting to produce that a little bit more now on the TV stage. Player to watch. 95. So's that man. Mm. Admits to being a little rusty, Gary Anderson. Benito has been putting in quite a bit of work since the World Championship, and what a match it was 24. at the Ali Pali. A real classic, it was 4-2 in the end to, to Anderson, who was 3-0 up, hitting 9 out of 9 Nine on the doubles, if memory serves me, and Van der Pas came back, won a couple of sets, briefly threatened to, to level the match before Anderson won it, but it was a terrific watch, it really was. And both Tumple Savages as well, so it just shows you the quality was there. But this man, when he gets going, he produced darts of the highest caliber. The first one goes to Anderson. A feature of that match, very much like the Anderson Chisnell match, was 180 from one, and the other responded straight away. And Anderson looking at tops. Yeah. 180 clinical finish, first leg against the throw. I wonder if he has blown the cobwebs off very quickly. I've had 15 dark leg to start proceedings for Gary. 100. And a maximum. Always good to get that double with the first dart, isn't it? Just fills you with confidence for the rest of the encounter. 93. Uh, perfect positioning from Anderson. And you just kind of expected the next two to follow, and indeed they did. 93. Yeah, he's not had the best of results here, certainly on two occasions as well, following his two world titles. The last three years, lost to Vanderbilt, from Barnabas and Taylor in the last 16 semis and quarters. So he's looking to improve that. Well, Gary had that record-breaking 22-180s, didn't he, in the final against Van Gerwen. Forty-two in all. In ten sets of darts. Incredible when you sort of reflect on on how good the standard really was. Well, it's certainly a magical era, Stuart. We mention it so often. The standard of the players now that some of the players that. The audiences yeah, haven't seen coming Gary up from the youth Anderson. ranks. But as Gary calls himself one of the old guard, can still produce the goods as we saw with Phil Taylor, 105 average in the previous match. It's interesting that the Scott, the, the couple of nights exhibitions, uh, which were already pre-booked in in Ireland, the week following the the Alexandra Palace, but. 
for two and a half weeks, hasn't picked up a dart. He decided he better have a practice with, with Michael Smith at the hotel, but the darts have been in the, in the draw. And you don't get an early night in Ireland, I can assure you of that. Well, 181st leg, 182nd leg, 183rd leg. Not bad for somebody who's rusty. 95. Not left to finish, Van der Pass. Anderson has. Possible 11 data here for Gary. It's been a better leg from Van der Pass so far. 96. Gary left himself 70, but will he get a throw at it? 12 for ball. But he's hit the treble, so it's double 13. Oh, on the wire. Not happy with that one. 70. So a big chance for Big Ben. Oh, he's missed that one. Oh. Well, he's just lost his 30. composure there. From 70, never had a throw. Double two for Anderson. Ooh, a long way off, long way off. Oh, he's going to get another goal. We mentioned earlier, didn't we, Stuart, that he's gaining experience all the time on the big stage. Lost his composure in the last visit, but can make amends here. And he has done double 16. He'll feel a lot better now. Got himself on the board. We have to say, a, a chance missed for Anderson. Three darts for 3 0 and a double break of throw. Maybe the rustiness can tell more on the doubles and the trebles because you're continually throwing at the treble throughout the leg and the match. 85. And somebody who's in prime form, maybe hitting the doubles a little bit quicker as we saw with Barney in the first game. Oh, a maximum in every leg so far on the world number two. Well, Anderson's best at the Masters 2015 100. semi final. Lost to Raymond van Barneveld, and the winner of this will play Barney in the quarter finals. If you are just joining us, a convincing winner in the opening match of the tournament 45. against Dave Chisnell. Well, two great performances, really, from Barney and Phil. First two matches, both averaging over 100. 80. Gary Ogwa, 136. Trouble will leave double 18. 60. Not quite. Found a pass a little bit back in this leg. He needs to get more consistency, doesn't he, throughout the match? We saw that in the World Championships when he was 3 0 down, produced two fantastic sets. Double 8 for Anderson. Uh, no trouble this time. Another great leg. The approval of little Ty, his son. Well, he seemed to have plenty of room on the treble 20 there. I'm sure from his angle he may have thought it was blocked. That's why he moved. 140. 107 average, Gary Anderson. Just 91 from Benito, but the young Dutchman here can still get within just a leg. 140. By holding on to his throw. Yeah, and he'll feel so good, won't he, going in the first break, only 3-2 down, but... 140. Anderson on his tail. Yeah, you feel it's a significant leg. May go for ball with the last one. No, 18. Hit the treble. So he leaves himself a better opportunity. And he'll have to get it. 123. As Anderson has also left himself a two data. Eleven dart leg from Van der Pass. Well, oh, Gary Anderson was waiting and poised, and he may be averaging 109, but there's just one leg difference. Cracky game this. Anderson and Van der Pass, 3-2 to the double world champ.
opening night of the 2017 Masters. Gary Anderson 3-2 up on Benito van der Pas. One break of throw coming in the opening leg of the match. We've already seen Raymond van Barneveld beat Dave Chisnell 10-5. And uh, a terrific performance from Phil Taylor with an average of 104 to beat Michael Smith by 10 legs to 6. Leg and still to come on the opening night, Peter Wright against Ian White. Well, it's been a pretty good night so far. It's been a pretty good night for the maximum for Gary Anderson. Five already. And a pass yet to hit one. Gary's certainly got his scoring boots on. But still only one leg difference, you know. 96. 111.71, the average for Gary Anderson. But Benito is hanging on in there. 140. As a player, when you're behind, and your opponent's hitting maximums like Gary is, and you almost feel like you're not in the match. 90. you just got to try and stick with it. And that last leg before the break was such a big leg. 11 data, Alan. Well, not just a great leg, but got him back to 3-2 within that... Within one leg. And as we know, in one leg, anything can happen. And this double, a big finish. It can turn around so quickly, this, this game. It really can. We've seen it so often in the past. Now, this would be a great finish. Two trebles. Couldn't start the proceedings. So Anderson will return. 90. And a bit of pressure, if he can hit it. Game well, well done. 4-2, Gary, Gary Anderson. 5 one in eighties and Come six on. legs of darts and a 109 average. It's another day at the office, isn't it? Well, certainly making no dramas, is he? 45. Just that one leg early in the match when he had a couple of darts at the duel. Apart from that, it's been pretty good on the doubles from him. We may still look 50. back at that as being a key moment. Three darts for 3 0 with a double break of throw. And for the moment, Anderson with the advantage. 85. And that's the only double he's missed. <laughs> I'll allow him one. 95. Yeah, after winning the World Championship last year, Gary, he came here and lost in the first round, didn't he? To to Vincent van der Voort. Van der Voort dropping out of the top 16, so not here this year. Back in the treble. 106! Maximums. Mighty impressive as well. This Benito's first. 120. Yeah, smile on the face there. Not sure where it bounced out from, but it was pretty close, I'm sure. 59. Well, you see, it was in the group. Yeah, it just glanced the flight, didn't it? 97. Gary Uruguay, 110. 110 finish. Just put him three legs ahead. Ooh, not 90. this time, so another Mr. chance for Benito to get within one. More than capable. Important yeah. as well, it's on throw. Big dart. 73. Can Anderson take a, a firm grip on this game? There's the answer. 5-2 it is with a, a double break of throw for Gary Anderson. 106.47 the average. Well, he's hitting maximum for fun. He really is. Well, the only leg. As well. Here we are. Eighth leg. Well, here comes Benito. As he hits his first, but Anderson, you know. Eight legs. Only one leg. He hasn't hit a maximum. And that was in the fifth leg when he hit 2 1 It was on the finish after nine. Uh, and uh, Van der Pass had to finish in 11 to win the leg. So. Seven maximums in eight legs, Gary Anderson. Safety. Their scoring has been exceptional. Just 
missed that one chink in the armour. And he missed those doubles. Benito back in early in the match. And he's now racing ahead. 57. Gary Uruguay, 130. Trouble 10 for tops. Gary wonderful. Anderson Absolutely Gary wonderful, Anderson. Gary Anderson. 6-2 it is. Game on. Well, we, I think we'll, we'll remind him of his question earlier when he was wondering Six. what Gary Anderson was going to turn up tonight. 108.56, Gary Anderson with seven 180s. 55% on the doubles. And a showpiece 130 finish. Is the Gary Anderson that's turned up tonight? Right, so the average is there, seven maximums, and he really is a joy to watch when he's in this groove. 100. Exceptional scoring. That's why he's the champion he is. And really, on reflection, probably Michael Van Gogh is. On his A game, probably one of the only players that can match him consistently. Because you remember what it was like to be good, don't you? <laughs> the memory's not that good. There we go. <laughs> it has been, it has been mighty impressive, though. You have to say from from Anderson so far. Twenty-five. From Benito's point of view, you know we've seen him play so well on the floor and we keep mentioning about being more consistent on the big what on the big TV it? stage and my point there with he's had a couple of slack visits almost got back in the match his head's dropped a little bit then all of a sudden compiling a good score but it's the consistency level 32. he just needs to tidy up Game shot on the ninth Anderson. Gary Anderson seven two ahead Sounds like it's Gary to throw first game on He's obviously got exceptional talent, and sometimes it's hard to explain to people the difference between playing on the floor events and the big TV stage. 140. Well, there's your answer. Irresistible so far, isn't it, from Anderson, though? 109 average. The numbers really are stacking up. I nearly said for the world champ. 45. The ex world champ. But One Performance of the night so far, though, from Anderson. With Taylor and Van Barneveld not far behind. 125. The big names so far are coming to the fore. 140. Here's himself 121. Already taken out a 130. Forty-five. Gary Uwal, one hundred and twenty-one. Just checking his score. Eighty-one to lead double top. Eight-two up. So looking ominous of underpass. Fifty-seven. Gary Uwal, forty. For another thirteen data. Uh, 8-2 it is, and this is mighty impressive from Gary Anderson. Really, really top performance, considering that he hasn't picked up a dart for three weeks in anger until tonight. 107 and a half, and he is demolishing Benito van der Pass. 8-2 on the opening night of the Masters here in Milton Keynes. His very, very best, Gary Anderson. 8 2 up on Benito van der Pass and a classy 130 finish. One of the highlights, 7 180s, 107 and a half average, and wow. just exceptional darts from Gary Anderson, who before he got up on stage had no idea how they would go. 
they're going pretty well so far. Two legs away from a quarter-final clash with Barney. Going very well. Very well indeed. Continued his high scoring all the way through the match so far. From Benito's point of view. He's had probably too many dual moments at the wrong time. He's played pretty well on occasions. He's just made too many small errors at the wrong time. But it's just really good to see the, the real masters of their trade performing here at the Masters. We saw it from Barney, we saw it from Taylor, we're seeing it from Anderson. Class act all, but really good to watch. I suppose you almost come to expect it, really, when you have the top 16 players here. There's no easy games that you may sometimes get in other tournaments. And no disrespect to some of the other players. But when you've got the elite top 16, They've all produced darts of the highest quality to get them in that top 16. So the, the, the darts so far that Anderson is producing are the darts that, that Benito van der Pass aspires to. Benito, we, we, we've seen him produce quality. World Championship, he was brilliant. How about this? Well, there you go. 128 finish, excellent. That's what he can do. And that's what he does. Yep, still a long way behind in the match. But that will certainly make him feel better. As Anderson, Super 8 on the maximums. Ninety-six. It really is a, a great watch when he's firing. Oh, when he's firing. He will be disappointed. This the, the fifth year of the Masters. Phil Taylor, James Wade, 2013, 2014, Michael Van Gerwen winning. The last two years, he had to have a nine data here. Good recovery there from Van der Pass after that loose dart into the five. 90. Anderson scoring on throw. Left in 91 after nine darts. So he needs another treble. 134. Gary O'Brien, Obliges with. Give him an outside chance. Well, he's had a 1 2 8. This will certainly raise some eyebrows. Needs another. Desperate for that treble. He really was. Oh, 50 percent on the doubles. Gary Anderson, 9-3 up. Lovely darts. What can Van der Pass do? 93. It's very difficult when. Your opponent is hardly putting the foot wrong. Yeah, there have been many a legs here when he's throwing second. He's only had three, three visits to the board. Yeah. Four if he's been lucky. 85. Well, quite simply, the best performance from Anderson at this tournament. Yeah. He's had a, a 180 and nine. Of the 13 legs so far. 57. Puts himself in a good position. Let's try and take it in this visit. 127. Let's move into the quarterfinals. 40. Gary Oguan, well, is it the beginning of the end in this leg now for Benito? Oh, to win it in style. Why not Gary Anderson? Absolutely magnificent with Gary Anderson. An average of just shy of 110. Nine 180s. And then win it in style with a big, big finish.
to round off a big, big performance. Well done, Danny, said Little Ty. Anderson will play Van Barneveld in the quarterfinals. What a performance. Anderson 10, Van der Pass 3.